Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Gardner. Gardner Bush Hedge and Shrub Creator made available by the folks at the production. Amazing tool. And I would definitely suggest that you go check this thing out because it is crazy. If you'd like to get this right now, there is a coupon for a launch offer, which is known as Gardner 25. And this gives you 25% off for you to get it. By default, lots of you guys have been waiting for tools like this. And it's quite interesting to see that the folks at B Production have created it. Right now, with a tool like this, you'll be getting 96 biomes, 350 assets, and it is crazy. The kind of things that you can do with this includes that you can simply select any object in Blender and convert that to either a shrub, a bush, or a hedge, you know, depending on what you like. And it's just crazy the kind of customizations you'll be having with this. And at the same time, it's compatible with Scatter 5. We're going to talk about Scatter 5 soon, and of course, if you'd like to check out this, link to this is going to be in the description, so you can do well to check it out. Now, with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this thing actually works. So with Blender simply open right here, how you get to work with this is extremely easy. All you need to do is to go over to Edit, go over to Preference and install it. And of course, once you install this, if you press N on your keyboard, you would notice that we have the Gardener right here. So how do you actually work with this tool? Now, how you can work with this is as easy as let's actually go ahead and raise this all the way up. As easy as going over to where you have the emitter and you can click on the drop down to select the emitter or you can use the eyedropper and select the emitter. Now, once you select the emitter, you can, of course, go in and select any of these shrub bushes and uh, any of these vegetations, actually, you can select any one. So in this case, if I go in and select this one, for example, and click on load, this would load up every single thing that makes up this particular vegetation. So from the branches to the main object itself or to the main plants themselves, the flowers and all that, it's going to load them in. Now you might also notice that we don't have a base, which is actually what we'll consider as a branch or a stem. And how we can add this is as simple as scrolling all the way down. And you can now notice that we have the trunk. So within this trunk section, we can click and we can search for a whole lot of trunks that exist right here. So we can pick anyone, anyone at all that you want, they are all yours and you can pick them. So in this case, I might just go with, uh, let's go with 41 and click on load trunk. And that trunk is right there. Click on it and scale this bad boy all the way up. And now we have this right here. So you can see how easy it is for you to just simply select an object directly within your viewport and convert that to a shrub, a hedge or a simple bush. And if you would like to play with the randomization of any of these components, you can do that. So if we go over to the layer section, which actually makes so much sense because at this point, you can turn this off based on the layers. Of course, if you would like to just see what the branch looks like, you can take a look at that. If you like to see what the base plant looks like, what the secondary plant looks like, what the flowers look like, you can actually go through and check them out. And you can see as well that they are all being color coded and you can customize this color coding yourself. So if you select on any of this, you can play with the density. Actually, let's just do that with the flower. So you can play with the density. If you like to increase these, you can reduce them as well. You can randomize them, which makes sense. And you can also play with the scale. So depending on how stylized you like these things to be, you can do that. You can also play with the random. So if you like to have those things random, you can do that as well. You can play with the rotation and all that stuff. If you would like to create some sort of natural looking holes on the bushes, on the shrubs, as these things are also things that you get to see in real life, you can actually go ahead and make holes. And uh, once you click on the make holes, you can play with the intensity of the holes. You can play with the scale of the holes. And of course, you can randomize these things. Now, if for some reason you probably wouldn't want to see the mesh itself that makes up this model, and if we actually go ahead and turn this all the way up, you can click on hide viewport. So this is not going to be visible within the viewport. And if you click on show viewport, you can actually see the mesh itself. So in this case, we can also go ahead and turn on all of these and also turn on the branch and we can preview this and see what it looks like in cycles. Now, before we do that, let's jump over here and change our rendering engine to cycles, go right over here and take a look at what the viewport rendering actually looks like. Let's turn on this good old noising and you can see what we have right here looking pretty, pretty nice. And for sure, if you like to convert several models into bushes or shrubs or beautiful trees and plants, you can use this add-on to get these things up to speed. Another cool feature that you get with this is the proxy. So if you already have your mesh running like this, you can go in and enable the proxy and this would help you work faster within your viewport. And you know, like we mentioned, you can turn all of this off and you can see what proxy is running 
And this is for those who like to have a faster performance directly on their viewport. Something else that also makes a lot of sense is this, that if we come back to this particular scene and we go in and let's just throw in Susan and we have Susan right here, let's move her all the way up. And of course, subdivide this bad boy and we would hit the apply button. So once we apply this, we can go all the way up and close this off. So once we turn this off and select this object, we can still use the eyedropper like we mentioned earlier and select Susan and we can select the type of vegetation that we'd like to apply on the model. Now let's load that in and once we load that, you would notice that Susan automatically has all these things there and they look pretty nice. And of course, if you like to switch between two meshes, yes, you can. All you need to do is click on the drop down and you can select the mesh that you want. And you can see that we have all of the layers still preserved and we can also do that to Susan and we can get that. And of course you can notice that we have this right here. So for those who've been thinking about converting shapes that exist in Blender to shrubs, bushes, or maybe you've been wondering how you can convert all of this to hedges that you can use to beautify your scene, then the Gartner tool is a tool that you should consider taking a look at. And there's also this cool feature that once you apply a Gartner bush, shrub, or even a hinge on a surface, and this actually goes underneath the surface, you can use the offsets to actually control where this exists. So in this case, we can use the offset to bring this either upwards or downwards, and this looks pretty nice. So you can also choose to play with the random. So in case you like to randomize how this thing looks, that works as well. And for those who like to play with holes, you can click on the make holes and use that. So this is more like it. For those who like to take a look at this, link to this is gonna be in the description. So do well to check it out. And it's also worth knowing that right now you can get this for 25% off. So if you like to get this, you can simply use the coupon code GARDNAC25 to get this going. And the folks at B Production have created a couple of vegetation tools that would just make your vegetation life a bit more easier. So if you've been wondering about vegetation tools that you can work with in combination with this one, then the vegetation from the folks at B Production and also the grass blade for grass meadows and also weeds and fields is available. And you can also check it out once you go over to their storefront. And that's more like it. All of these things that we've just mentioned are compatible with Scatter 5. And you can go ahead and take a look at the link in the description that can bring you right here where you can check out all of this and see the marvelous things that you can create with them. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.